All right, guys, Cody here. Uh, got a couple questions I'm going to get to. It's been a while since so I've done some questions. Uh, one of these I've answered before, but I'm just going to get to it maybe in a different way. And uh, hopefully that, you know, explains to some people. But it's first about reserve time. And then the second question is uh, about going to a certain field office. And if it's detrimental to your career, what field office you choose. So reserve time. Absolutely can do it. If you're in the reserves when you get on with DS, whether you're domestic or you're overseas, they're going to make it work. I don't know all the details and the intricacies to it, but I know that everybody I've had that had reserve time made it happen. If you're domestic, easy day. Just ask your supervisor for the weekend, for the for the Friday off or whatever you need, and you just go. They're not going to give you any issue with that. Overseas, there's ways to make it work. Uh, I've never heard of anyone having any issue. Um, the second part of that question is, uh, I had a guy ask if he could go, you know, if, if once he got on with DS, if it, if, he, if I thought DS would allow him to go to warrant officer school. And my answer to him was, you need to make a decision of what's more important to you. He, he asked that because DS has a, uh, I guess when you get hired on, you get a do not call before option or a deferral date. I wouldn't take that shit. I would, if DS calls you to go for, to, to, to go to a class, it's my opinion. If this is what you really want, you got to do it. Now you should do it. If, now you got to prioritize. If being a warrant officer is more important, um, you know, then then that's what you do. But it's one or the other. Again, if you're already in the reserves, no issue. Um, but leaving the field office just after getting into DS, or even a couple years after DS, wouldn't leave a warm and fuzzy with your supervisor. Wouldn't be a good uh, good optics with your peers. And uh, I don't I don't think it's it wouldn't be recommended. It wouldn't be my my thing to do. Is it allowed? Maybe. But uh, I'm confident that you, you, it would be frowned upon if you did do that. The other question I had today was, uh, do I felt that going to Houston was detrimental to my career? No. I, I mean, I think I, I did well in my career. I, I promoted with just about the first time that I was eligible. We, the, it was the sec, basically the second time I was eligible, which I think only two people out of a class of 48 got promoted the first time. The second time it was a, hand, a couple handfuls of us and I got promoted then. So I don't think Houston, uh, I don't think the field office really has much impact. As long as you perform at a decent level and there's nothing negative against you, it'll be fine when it comes to promotions. Now, operationally, also doesn't have an impact. The basis of the question was, would NIFO or WIFO be a better uh, opportunity to get to kind of understand, you know, DS and make you more effective overseas? And the answer is, is well half and half kind of no i mean and, and, and it was in the context of protection you know being more prs you don't you hardly do prs overseas rarely do you do prs overseas you might have a, a, a congressional delegation where you might help advance a site or secretary's detail might come out once or twice and you'll advance and you'll work on their detail but very rarely do you do prs overseas but that's protection um they send you to the field office to get investigative experience. So Houston is a great investigative office. We had a ton of work on the border, a ton of work in Houston, ton of work, you know, towards the Dallas area, all over Texas. Uh, Houston also covers Oklahoma. Uh, Dallas covers Oklahoma, but Dallas falls under Houston. Um, and you know, I got a lot of investigative experience, and that's what you want when you're overseas. If you're by yourself as an acting RSO, and 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 someone's, uh, you know, someone dies, you got to investigate that. I had the exact thing happen to me. If you read my book, when uh, the guy, it was a, a workplace accident, the guy's head was taken off. And if I didn't know the basics of investigations, if I didn't know the steps and the reporting requirements and the communication requirements and, and uh, you know, uh, how to take uh, investigatory photos, um, then I wouldn't have been successful in that. So I don't think now, would New York be better? I think New York w w can be articulated as the best field office out there. You get a ton of good crim, you get a ton of good protection. Um, I believe you get to go on some TDYs, which is great. Um, WIFO, no, I'll, I'll stand by what I said. You don't get good investigations out of WIFO. You get mostly protection out of WIFO. Uh, Houston, again, had great investigations. What Houston also allowed, since it wasn't, you know, so much protection within the Houston area, is it allowed for me to go on any TDY I wanted. So I went on secretary's detail. Uh, I'm sorry. I went support secretary's detail. I didn't. You can do a TDY there for like 30, 60 days. I did the, the, the TDYs, you know, the short-term TDYs to different posts. I volunteered to go to Iraq. I volunteered to go help on task forces, make arrests, you name it. You get to get to a little bit of everything in Houston. So uh, the answer 
it's a long-winded way to answer the question. I already pinged the guy and, and told him. Um, but for those of you that are wondering, will it be detrimental to your career? No, no field office will be detrimental to your career. And will one field office over the other be advantageous? With the exception of WIFO, uh, I would say, I'm sorry, with the exception of NIFO, I would say no. I don't think any of them are really advantageous. And I don't mean advantageous as in career promotion opportunities. I mean uh, advantageous as an operational uh, skill set that's developed at these field offices. So investigations are why they send you to the field office um, and TUI opportunities. So that's all I got. Um, it's been a while since I made a video. So, uh, you know, I do them when I can. Uh, podcast, I just put podcast up. We're on episode nine. We're going to go on 10 soon. I'm going to take a little break uh, for a week. My son is turning one and uh, my family's coming up to celebrate his birthday. So uh, it'll be a week or two till I put another one out. But appreciate the support. Has nearly 5,000 downloads after uh, nine episodes. So, uh, you know, some some of you are very dedicated uh, to listening to it, and I appreciate that. Um, book is doing well. It can be found on my website, CodyParon.com, or you can go straight to Amazon. I will be selling directly from the website pretty soon, and that's going to be a discount. So uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like $2 less than on Amazon, and I worked out the shipping to where you still pay less, even though if you have Amazon. I don't think this ship's prime. But Amazon shipping is like a dollar, you know, like a, a couple bucks, and uh, mine will be the same, and it'll end up costing you just a little less. Uh, and then I'm happy to sign them too. I, I, I mean, I'm flattered when people ask me to do that. I, I, I don't, I don't, think, I don't know if I rate it, but you know, cool. If you want me to sign, I'll happily sign. I'll write you a little message too. Um, so you know, happy to do that for anyone. Um, CodyParon.com. You can uh, hit me there. My YouTube's are there. Uh, my Instagram is there. It's agents unknown underscore book. Uh, I'll probably be switching my handle to uh, off the X. I'm starting to kind of build a brand. So if you saw the hoodies, if you're on my if you're on my social media, I put some hoodies out, some high threat protection, getting you off the X uh, hoodies. Uh, they're pretty cool. Go to go to my uh, to to my uh, social media and you'll see them. I will put them on the website on an online portal, online store at some point. So if you're interested in one of those, you can view it here in the next couple of weeks. And purchase them. I think they should be ready to 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 purchase um, in the next couple of weeks. I also have the ability to pre-order. So if you want to hit me up to secure yours, and just hit me up in the message here, hit me up on social media info at codyparon.com. You can hit me up there as well. We'll be good to go. Um, the Facebook group is growing. Uh, has some really good people in there. A lot of active DS agents. You you never if, unless you have a friend that's a DS agent. Prior to this group. You never had the opportunity to just talk with DS agents. It just doesn't happen. And I'm telling you right now, I got at least two dozen, maybe up to 20 DS agents, current, former, also retired um, from the highest levels of the executive, senior executive service to those that are in BSAC and everything in between. So go there, ask your questions. I'm monitoring it. If you're going to apply or if your buddies are going to apply to the group or, yeah, I guess you call it apply. To try to get in the group. Have them fill out the questions. And then I'll, I'll likely approve them. If they come and say, no, I'm not interested. I'm just here to listen. I'm not going to approve you. You have to be interested. There are people that are very probably well-meaning people that just said, nope, not interested in being federal law enforcement. I'm a cashier and I don't know what you're there for. And uh, I don't, you know, this is a group for like-minded people that are interested in the job. And that's the way I'm going to run it. So just apply. Just uh, just write, just fill them out, even if it's short, you know, and I'll, I'll go to approve you. Um. All right, what we say? We talked about podcasts. We talked about, uh, oh, I'm gonna, I'll probably be making a, a hat soon as well to kind of compliment the hoodie. Um, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, uh, you know, if, if, you, if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to ping me. Uh, most of you have been doing that. I, I answer everyone. Um, if I don't, it's not on purpose. Just ping me again. Just say, hey, man, I wrote you last time. I was wondering if you could help me out. Uh, I'll happily chat to you and, 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 and talk to you. I'm not taking as many phone calls these days because it started to overwhelm me a bit for people that hadn't even, you know, for example, received their degree or they're still in the military and got like two or three years or they're, they're young college guy, kids. And, uh, you know, I'll happily communicate with you, but to take the phone call takes time. I put a good bit more effort in that. And in that, I'll, I'll you know, I'll talk to people that are about to apply the exam, uh, you know, uh, and, and might have some final questions or, um, those that are uh, currently in the process. And again, I don't have the answers. It's just basically I'm there to answer any additional questions you might have. Um, I have helped people, uh, you know, and are mentored them 
per se, and uh, most of them have been, been successful passing the test. Um, I'm looking at doing a mentorship program um, to where I actually mentor people and do like scenario based questions. So you can it's kind of like some security leadership answers or questions uh, that I'm looking to do if that is if, if anyone's interested in that. Um, and then basic kind of questions around revolving your international security, global security, the U.S. government, things that you should know to be a well-rounded uh, uh, individual in the U.S. government, in particular in security. Um, and then, uh, you know, and then possibly some questions that some some writing questions that I can, you know, help out where I help out. So just a little bit of stuff to offer uh, that stuff I'm going to charge for. Uh, it's not going to be a lot, but um, if I'm going to take my time to develop questions and go through scenarios with you and work through them, uh, then I think it's only fair that I I, uh, I can't get compensated a little bit for it. So um, but I'm not I'm not pushing it. So if there's something that interests you, then we'll talk about it. Just hit me up. Um, yeah, that's it, man. So CodyParon.com, check it out. I'm going to have that online store up and I hope to kind of start a little brand of off the X stuff. And I think it's going to be good. Got a, the, the hoodie got a, a ton, a, I say a ton, a ton of relative, but a good bit of pre-orders. So, uh, you know, hit me up if you need anything. Uh, I'm available for questions, info at CodyParon.com or any of these social media mediums. All right. Thanks as always for the support. I appreciate you guys and uh, y'all have a good weekend. Thanks y'all out.